Hey guys, I can't tell if we are going live yet. Um, I am at the Clayton House in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and sorry, it took me a couple minutes to get started. Um, the lady was giving me a nice tour of the house, setting up the equipment. Pretty freaky place. Um, I just want to kind of go over the history of this place. Um, this is one of the girls' rooms um, that most of the activity has taken place. So I'm going to be here a lot and um, her sister's room right next door. Um, but let's talk about the history before we turn some of these lights off. So in my um, history research, I have found um, that this house belonged to a man named William Clayton. Um, he was married to a woman named Florence. They had six young girls and one boy. None of them had died here at the house. So my question was, why is this place so haunted if none of the family members died here? Well, further investigation into the research, we found that this was a Civil War um, hospital for the Union soldiers before Clayton got a hold of this house. So therefore we have possibly um, some Civil War soldiers here. So pretty cool stuff. Um, there were slaves at one point, not sure in the history books, in the records, if anyone died here, but the main three ghosts that have been told that haunt this place are one, what they call, um, an angry man, and he kind of looks out this balcony area off into the streets. He's described as tall, dark, with a black hat, black clothes, um, with kind of an angry face. And then we also have a woman, um, they don't believe it is Florence, but she wears a white dress and she is seen in this room quite often. And I will turn the lights off here in a little bit. But she is seen with a white shirt and a brown skirt. Um, they don't believe it was Florence. Like I said, they actually believe it was a Civil War nurse that helped the Civil War soldiers when they were here at the hospital. And there's also a gray cat that haunts downstairs. We are in the upstairs area and talking to the tour guide, she said that upstairs is more haunted than downstairs. I do want to take a look at this balcony real quick because the man, um, the angry, tall, angry man that they keep talking about is basically seen um, staring up from this balcony when you're looking downstairs right there. So hopefully when we turn these lights out and I get my young son, there's my son right there, he's manning the infrared camera, say hi. Um, we're gonna do an EVP session here in a little bit and um, an EMF reader, see if we can detect any energy, any fields from these three. Maybe we might be able to hear a cat meowing or a young lady talking to us, but I'd like to see if um, these were Civil War soldiers, uh, if the lady was a young nurse um, that needs to cross over. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn these lights out. I had them on so we could kind of show you what this place looks like. I'm not sure how to turn this I do want to show you this. Um, this right here is actually a, you know, I don't like dolls. So this is not my favorite part. But these dolls have been said to um, move. They come up here. And actually, it's just two of them. It's those two right here. Um, they will come up here. The workers will open up the doors. And um, these two young ladies right there will be facing each other like they're talking. Um, like they're having a conversation. Obviously, they don't catch them talking or moving, but they just kind of see the aftermath of it. So that's pretty interesting um, as well. So let's go ahead and go in here and get started um, on the EMF reader. So here is, it's at zero right now. So there's our base foundation 
our reading right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and see if my son can capture anything on the... It went dead. My camera went dead? Mm -hmm. We just started. It's full. Oh my goodness. So wonderful. The infrared camera has died. So that's an indication that it's sucking up the energy. I do have another battery, so I will get that put in there. Let me turn this light off. Okay. I was told I could not sit in these chairs because they are part of the history here and they don't want them disturbed. But I'm just gonna ask you a few questions to see if the young lady will appear with her energy. So we are here in your room. Um, they call you the brown skirt ladies for my um, research. Um, will you provide us some of this energy so we can see you um, move this EMF meter? We'd appreciate it. Do you like being called the brown skirt lady? Do you have a name? So nothing here. Let me see if I can move this to a different part. Oh, this doll right there. All right. Let's see if there's any energy in this area. Will you go ahead and manifest and use some of this energy to um, move some of this EMF reading? I'm not really feeling um, any thickness in here. The um, tour guide lady, I don't know if I can sit on this bed. The tour guide lady said that she feels really, oh, there's something, heavy and thick in this room. I'm not quite feeling anything yet. It's hot as hell in here though, I'm sweating. This view out here is pretty creepy too. I can totally see me taking a picture from outside the street and seeing something in the window. Okay, I'm gonna try one more room with this. She did say that this room right here was also creepy. And of course, there's another freaking doll in here. I'm not a fan of dolls. So will you please use your energy to change this EMF reading for me? I know you've got some energy in here. People talk you, about you all the time. Show me what you can do. I appreciate you letting us hang out in here with you. It's kind of stuck on a one. Not really much. Good reading would be like a three, a four, or five. Those are some creepy old books right there. There have um, been sounds of doors slamming in these two rooms. And the, this is a pretty old house built in 1882. So these doors are really, really thick. They're not like the cheap thin ones from today. So I'm not really getting much from the brown skirt woman. So how about we talk to the angry man? Angry man, will you change some of this energy? 
let us know that you're here. Can you tell us why you're so angry? The tour guide said she doesn't like you being called that. She doesn't know why people call you angry man. Not for sure why it's stuck on one. So what we'll do now, there's our base reading. Obviously I'm moving it, so that's why it's moving. Um, let's get some EVPs and see if that will get some of this energy flowing. So I'm gonna come back into this room. That is a really creepy setup right there as well. That scared me when I first came in here. Okay, so I have two apps here. Um, I don't have the fancy ones yet. So I'm going to use a couple of ghost hunting apps. Have you guys used that? I really can't see my chats right now. So if you're chatting with me, I'm sorry I can't see them. Um, but I'm going to use this ghost detector. So I'm going to ask it a couple questions. If you've used this before, let me know if it's worked for you. Brown skirt woman, are you here? We appreciate you letting us in here. If you could use this energy to talk to us, looks like you've drained one of our batteries and our cameras already. We have another camera if you want to use that energy to manifest, that's fine with me. Can you tell me your name? I don't know what that cage means. Are you in a cage? Are you stuck here? Do you not like being here? spirits are here with us do we have a man and a woman and a cat like the research says is it too early for you I know it's eight o'clock do you not like showing up until early in the morning like at three o'clock would love for you to talk to us. It'd be great. We won't be here very long. We'll get out of your way here in just a little bit. Oh, influence. Yes, I did hear that you were a great influence. I heard a lot of good things that you did for the women um, long before like the 1920s when women got the right to vote. You were here helping women. I appreciate that, being a woman. Do you still have an influence today? Can you tell me your name? I would love to read more about you. As a high school history teacher, I do like to hear about women influence and I like to influence students, so I appreciate that word. Are you the angry man, what they call you the angry man, or is this the woman I'm talking to? in this other room.
What kind of influence did you have? Help me understand. Are you still here? Were you a nurse for Union soldiers? You know we have an election coming up pretty soon. It's a pretty divisive election. I'm sure you were in the middle of all of that between Union and um, Confederate soldiers. I, I bet that was pretty rough. Okay, let me take this downstairs and let's see if we can get a hold of the angry man. Which apps here in just a little bit, but I just want to kind of go downstairs and see if I catch anything else. I'm going to go with Necrophonic next. This one's kind of stuck. Okay, I was told I could not sit on any of those chairs, so, but I could sit on this black one. All right, let's close out of this one. No spirits on this one. And let's try Necrophonics. Okay, so this one is popular as well. I'm gonna ask a couple of questions. I've had to learn to kind of listen to this one because it can get kind of so how many spirits are here with me I heard five heard two So I'm going to ask it again. I'm just changing these settings just to see what works. Can you tell me how many spirits are here with me? I heard two. So that would be, that would coincide with the history behind this place. Is there a man and a woman here? Pretty cool stuff. So angry man, why are you so angry? This is where he normally stands. Can you manifest somehow using this light? Actually, I'm gonna turn this light off. Let's see what we can find. Why are you so angry? I can't see your comments if anyone's commenting on my thing chat. I'm gonna go back to the top of the stairs and see if you wanna talk to me, angry man. 
So, do you like being called an angry man, or does that tick you off? Pissed. Oh, you're pissed. Right. Were you a Civil War soldier? What? Yes. So were you a Union soldier or a Confederate soldier? Union. Did you die in the in the war? No. No. So why are you here then? You died. Time. It was your time. Got it. So there was no, there's no reason to be angry? It's your time? No. I don't really feel your thickness here. I don't feel your anger. Hi. I would like to talk to the brown skirt woman. Where is she at? Brown skirt woman, are you here? Oh, yes. Okay, well, I don't like calling you brown skirt woman. Can I have your name? I mean, if someone called me brown skirt woman, I would be mad too. I have a name. Ann. I heard Ann. I'm not sure if that's what you guys heard. But I do want, I do want to um, make note that one of his daughters was named Ann. Can you tell me why you're here, Ann? It's a lot of communication going on. I appreciate you talking with me. Thank you. You know, there's someone here almost every weekend. Does that bother you? No? No. Okay. So you like it when people are here? Yeah. I heard Anne. And Anne is actually the daughter of... William. Is that you? Um, why is there a cat here? Was that your was that your cat growing up? 
Yeah, I heard a meow too. Okay, so this door right here, this door right here moves all the time. Can you move this door for me? Can you move this door for me? I know this is heavy and I know it takes a lot of energy. I would appreciate it. You can use, use the energy from this camera. Can you just move this door? I saw that orb light just go by. I don't know if y'all saw that. Was that you? Yes, I heard a yes. Is it too heavy to move? I appreciate you talking to me. Is it too much energy to move that door? Too heavy? go downstairs we were told that downstairs in the parlor was some interesting stuff we're gonna go downstairs So this was the woman's room where um, a lot of the women would hang out. And can you come in here with me? I'm going to turn some of these lights out. are with me now ten I don't think there's ten shut up you want me to shut up William, this is William. This is his picture. Yes. Ann, is this your dad? William? Yes. Um, William also had a twin brother named John, who was a sheriff here in town. I don't know, um, here is his top hat. Some of his items are still here. 
from the original owner. I'm going to turn this light off. I'm going to hang out in here for a minute. This will be my last room. Look how beautiful this is. Some of the original china. I was told that some of this right here um, moves on its own. So let me turn this light out and see what we can get. Okay, Ann, Anna, hello. I'm not gonna be here much longer. So I'm not asking you to perform like a dog and pony show. I just wanna talk to you. William, is this you? Or is this John? Son. Well, William only had one son and you didn't die here, so. Have you moved these before? Can you tell me what year you're from? What year did you die? Eighteen what? Eighteen what? Eighteen sixty-three? Well, I'm talking to you. I don't know if you can hear this at home, guys, but I'm hearing a lot of, like, old-time music, something that they would play here. Yes, thank you. What kind of music did you like? Do you know what year it is right now? Tell me what year it is right now. What year do you think it is? Guys, I'm kind of new at this, as you know, so I, I'm kind of having a hard time understanding some of this. Maybe you can hear more than I can. A lot of my equipment is back upstairs, so I'm going to go back upstairs and get my equipment. Is this where you're at? I don't know, that curtain seems really foggy to me. I don't know if it's just my camera. go buy the dolls real quick. I don't like them at all. 
so <clears throat> I've been told that you move these two dolls. Do you do that? What? What? These two dolls, do you move them? Yes. Why? It's funny. So, do you not like Sarah Polk? What is this? I don't know, you tell me. Were they friends? Were they enemies? You don't really mess with anybody else, just these two women. Help. They need help. Are they just, they're just dolls. All right, let's look at this one more time. Can you change that EMF reader? Show me some of your energy and we'll be on our way. You wanna to talk to me, but you don't wanna move that. Oh, I saw it. Number two. Thank you. Oh, there was a three. Thank you so much. A four. So you are here. And your name is Ann? I heard you talking just now. Oh, a five. Hello. So, Ann, why do they call you the brown haired, brown skirt woman? Help. Because you need help? This is not really witching hour, so this is kind of early in the night. But I appreciate you being here. I want to say thank you for what you did for the soldiers, our Union soldiers. Um, being a history teacher, I really appreciate that. That was a lot of work. Well, we don't want to keep you too long, but we want to say thank you for all your work. I don't feel your negativity here. Yes. If I say bye, will you say bye to me? Can you say goodbye? Bye. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, guys. I'm going to close out my investigation. I have not figured out how I, I can turn this camera around so I can talk to you guys. Um, I haven't, there's my other camera. That one ran out of battery. My um, night vision camera ran out of battery within 10 minutes of being here. Um, pretty cool place. Um, I'm gonna obviously go home and check this footage from what I did find. Um, Obviously, there is an energy here. You can hear that 
um, through the evidence I caught. I, I would like to see what I caught on the cameras with the, the few minutes that I did get. Um, obviously, I didn't get any doors slamming. I didn't feel any negativity here. Uh, I didn't feel any heaviness. Um, there have been people that said that they have re reported feeling that. I don't, I didn't feel it. Um, I just feel that it's just not a poltergeist haunting, but just some, you know, historical figures. I do believe that um, she was either a nurse for the Union Army or it could be Anne, his daughter. But I don't know why Anne would be here. Um, she didn't die in this house. She actually lived um, many, many years and moved on to a different house. So this was not necessarily her resting place. Um, obviously the family's heirlooms are still here. So that could have something to do with it. Um, I, I, I feel it's more Civil War related. Um, these rooms were used as a hospital. So whenever they fought on the battlefields and, um, hold on, there's a door open right here. I didn't hear this open, but this wasn't open before. Can you shut that door? I was just about to leave, but it would be really cool if you shut that door. Can you do that before I leave? I'd appreciate it. I know it takes a lot of work to do that, but we appreciated your time here, letting us walk through your house. We'll be on our way here in just a second. No, too heavy? Okay, that's fine. Appreciate it. So this right here, this freaked me out. And then there's another one over there. I don't know why they want to do that. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I didn't feel, I didn't feel an evil presence. I didn't feel a negativity. Obviously, I did see some light orbs, but obviously, I don't know if those are, that is dust. This is an old house. Could be that. Um, but I would have to examine the footage. So I'm going to do that in the next couple days. And hopefully if I did find something on the cameras that my son had or anything else, I will bring that to you on Friday. And we took a lot of steals as well. So um, we need to get that to you. So this is where the old man would have been. I don't know if you can see or feel him. I just saw something fly by, but like I said, I don't know if that was a bug or dust. It was moving awfully fast, so. Okay, well, I appreciate those who came to watch my first live investigation. I don't have like a buttload of equipment, but I still feel like I got a lot of good stuff. And can't wait to see your comments. I can't see them on my phone right now because I'm not at a thousand subscribers. So I had to use an app to live stream from where I was tonight. But once I get like a thousand subscribers, then my live streams would be a whole lot better and I will be able to see your chats while I'm doing this. Um, but I appreciate all of you for tuning in. And I will see you on Monday for another YouTube video about kids.